Hello everyone, welcome to Nova Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new transition tutorial in our series and I will show you how easy it is to create hexagon transitions in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So let's get started. So Ctrl N to create a new composition. Let's name these Xblog and 400 on width and height and 29 frames per second and 10 seconds duration and then hit OK. So what we're going to do is create a shape layer. So we're going to need a polygon tool to create a polygon shape. So hold shift and then spacebar to move it here. And let's name this actually hexagon. And so then let's rename this again. Exa just so we have this organized. Okay, so control alt home to center the anchor point, control home to center the whole objects, and here we have points five, so we're going to make it six, and then we're going to transform of the hexagon and then animate the scale so 100 from uh, 0 to 100 so around 2 seconds it's going to be 100 then if 9 to easy easy and let's make it nice easy and so we're going to have something like this so we have a basic shape here and so for now we create our hexagon block we're going to create a new composition here so let's name this hexa hexagon block so maybe this one is going to be uh, HDTV here at 10 seconds and hit OK and then we're going to drag the exa block we create it we have it here and then we're going to move it right here to the edge so I'm going to make sure it is lined up right here just like this and what we're going to do is Control D to duplicate it select both of them and then P to reveal the position and here we have values of the position so we're going to move the second one just right here and here we have the value of the second one so we're going to copy the value of this one then minus the value of this one so here we have this value that we're going to need so let's put this uh, this is going to delete it and then alt and click on stopwatch of the position to reveal the expression field here so what we're going to do is open bracket then value open bracket zero and close the open bracket then value one and then close it and then semicolon so here we have the values of the x and y here so what we want to do is create a variable here called x equal this value semicolon and if we add it here we add x we will see that it's moved these objects but what we want to do is once we duplicate these objects it's moved uh, where it should where it should be so here is what we need to do so what we're going to do is multiply this value with uh, open parentheses and index minus one and close it and so what we're going to end up having here is once we duplicate this one all of these is going to fill the x of these compositions so here we have quickly creating this duplicate so what we're going to do now is doing it on the y so let's pre-compose this and let's rename this x hexagon and now we're going to do almost the same thing Control d to duplicate this 
and what we're going to do is move the second one right here and if you see the this composition is cropped so both of them they need to be uh, turned on this collapse transformation so now it is looking fine as it should be so let's move this like this and we're going to do the same thing revealed position here and as you see now we have the second composition x and y values changed together so we need to figure out the distance between the two compositions so here we're going to open these and p we're just going to copy this whole expression Control c and then here let's duplicate another one and p and let's paste this expression here because we're going to need it let's turn this off and so here we have to figure out the values here so here we have the x so this one which is the second one copy the x value and then this value minus this one so here we have this value which we're going to need for x and so we're going to copy this whole thing and then paste it here and then change the x to y and here or we need to figure out the y so copy this one and then minus the second one so here we have this value which we need so paste it here and then add the y to value one and, and let's delete these two and turn on this and now we start duplicating and we see you are getting our duplicates there and now we're going to move this whole duplicate to fill the composition and here if we have a missing gaps here we can back here and just duplicating this one so now we have things uh, looks right so let's preview and see how this looks like so now we got something like this and this is just the basic of the transition here so now we want to make a very interesting transition so what we're going to do is open this x hexagon and now we're going to stagger these compositions and we can do it manually if we want to but i'm going to use this free script called rift and it's free available on escript.com i will leave the link on the description so we now choose the default unit frames and here we have a range so we can stagger or randomize our uh, composition so I choose five frames and then you can choose descent or essence so click on this icon and then it's going to uh, stagger these for us so let's preview this and if we go back to this one we will see what we have so we have this very cool looking uh, transition here and we can make it more complicated so we can do the same thing for this one let's actually change the, the method here and let's preview so you see that we get different results we can uh, do it randomize them so here we can randomize all of these let's actually randomize them like this and as you see we have very different looks here and so it depends on how we uh, randomize these or organize these hexagons here we are always going to get a different looks As you see in this preview we can get different transitions very quickly and now we are going to see another transition so as we have here in this example we have these uh, 
animations start from left bottom left to the top right so if you want to create something like this it's actually pretty easy so how we're going to do that so we're going to back to here to actual here and what we're going to do is oh, let's let them back or like this and if you see this is start like a diagonal so what we're going to do we're going to first know like for example it's so this and would notice so this outside so let's see this and so we will see the animation almost stopped on three seconds so what we're going to do is staggering all of these like three uh, first changing the frames to seconds and we're going to start them um, three seconds and then click there so you would see that with the help of these rifts we get them very quickly uh, staggered we can do it manually it's just about knowing the timing here and so we got it there and actually uh, we can we need to make this uh, longer so here let's put these at 20 and make this also 20 and just make it longer so now here let's so it's all and so here we have it actually So now we have it like staggered the way we want. So we can we can do the same uh, different result. So here we have it from the top. So if you want different look as we have here, so it's actually pretty easy to create. Just create the look you want as I have here on the same shape layer. I have these. So for example, I can just up in these groups here. I have created and here i can leave only the basic one i have so for example i have all that basic i can here it's a little bit smaller on the side on the radius so all of them using the same um the same uh shape like they're here so i can for example just add elements i want like here, so the group, second one, I have trimming pad and stroke and duplicating it with a uh, different offset here. And the third one is the fill and here animating the opacity with scale. And then add another one, just a stroke with different color. So we have this looking uh, complex uh, animation and of course you can add a glow to it if you want to and change the color train tune and then you can have a different animations and looks so this was the tutorial of today hope it was very useful for you guys and if you have any questions just comment and i will do my best to be responsive and tuned for more tutorials coming soon and don't forget to like and subscribe to support me and thank you for watching